Welcome to another video. Paying for monthly subscriptions has become a real financial hassle these days. I mean, taking monthly subscriptions for each AI provider, like Claude, OpenAI, and Gemini, is a big chunk of money to spend. But I have a solution for you today, and it's called Zemith. Zemith is an AI platform that allows you to access all the latest flagship LLM AI models from a single platform, along with an AI-based search engine, an AI-powered notepad for speed and inspiration, chatting with documents, a natural language searchable media collection, and much more, all at an affordable cost of just $12. Yes, you get access to OpenAI's model, Anthropic's model, Gemini models, and Flux Image Generator models, all for just $12. You can even use it for free with 20 credits, which is a great option. Not only do you get access to these models, but you also get a bunch of tools, like an AI-powered search engine, parallel AI generation, chat with documents, easy note-taking with AI, a smart visual gallery where you can upload and search your photos easily, as well as an AI image generator that allows you to use Flux, Stable Diffusion, and Google's Image Gen models. If you use a free account, you get about 20 credits per month, while with the $12 per month plan, you get 2,000 credits per month, along with on-demand credits as well. If you want to know how many credits are consumed for each message, you can look at this chart. It costs anywhere from 1 to 3 credits, which is relatively cheap, considering that the membership only costs $12. Also, this pricing is available for a limited time since it's an early bird discount as they have recently launched the platform. You can definitely try it out with the free account, and you'll likely be compelled to upgrade to a plan because of its really cool features. Let me show you the features. First of all, sign up, and once you're signed up, you'll see this interface. Here you can see a ton of options like chat, search, library, notes, gallery, and creative options. Let's start with the chat option. When you click it, it will open this page. Now this looks really cool. And here you can see all the models that you can use. I like using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but you can choose whichever one you want. Once you select the model, you can start your chat and you can also attach any images that you may have and would like to chat about, which is pretty cool. You can send messages and chat easily, and you can attach images, which is something I really enjoy using. You can also click this layout option and add multiple chat windows side by side, chatting simultaneously with multiple models, which is also pretty cool. So, that's the chat interface. Now, let's move to the search engine and check it out. Just go over here and select the search option. Now, you can see this is similar to the previous interface, but here you have the speed and quality options, including GPT-40 and Claude, which is pretty good. It's similar to Perplexity's option, so you basically get perplexity here as well. Let's ask it something recent like the recent Llama 3.2 launch, and you can see it searching now. If we wait a bit, you can see the result here, and it's pretty accurate. You also have the sources and everything, which is really cool. So, you get a whole perplexity-like search engine here as well, which is amazing. Now, there's the library option. This is very cool, and you don't usually find this feature anywhere. In this feature, you can create a folder and add all your files related to a topic in that folder. For example, you can add your notes for a course or sales reports, and then create a chat thread to chat with the context of all those documents in one chat interface, which is just amazing. Let's say I make a folder for a research paper, and I add a research paper on Mora, a video generation architecture. Once we add that, we can create a chat thread and chat with the document 
as much as we want. It will answer questions related to all those documents, which is just amazing. The next feature is also amazing. The Notes feature. This feature gives you a whole text editor with AI autocomplete, improvement features, a summarizer, and much more. Which is amazing if you use AI for writing, something I use a lot. Apart from this, you also have the gallery option. Here, you can add your images and search them via natural language with AI, which is really amazing. I sometimes use it to search through screenshots, and it works really well. You also have the AI image generator. In the AI image generator, you can easily enter your prompt, select the diffusion model you want to use like Flux, Stable Diffusion, or Google's image generator. I like using the Flux Pro model, so let's select that. You can also select the number of samples to generate, which is nice. Then, you can choose the aspect ratio. I usually generate 16 by 9 pictures, so I'll select that. Now, we can hit the Generate option, and it will start creating the images. After waiting a bit, you can see the images are now generated, and they all look great. So, you can chat, search, take notes, write, chat with documents, do visual searches, and a bunch of other stuff which is just amazing for $12. It's insane. Plus, they're going to keep adding new models as soon as they launch, which is also amazing. This is a great option to lower your costs on memberships and get even better tools all in one place. Plus, you'll also keep getting the new models here as they are launched. So, you'll always have the best models to use. Plus, Multiple new AI tools will also be added in the future. So, that will be cool as well. You also have a free option if you want to try it out before committing. So, click the link in the description, start using it, and save some money while you're at it, which is great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.